Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix your device missing important security and quality fixes on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So while updating, if you are getting this kind of error message and you are not able to update it, then kindly follow the steps that I am going to share in this video because these are the best and the effective solution in 2023. Alright, so the first thing that I would recommend you that you can try renaming the software distribution folders. For that, you have to click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt and choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Now here you have to run multiple command that you will find in the description. So copy this command from the description one by one, right click. Choose copy, come back to the black window, make a right click and it will be automatically pasted. Hit enter. And similarly, you have to run all these command that you can find over here. Alright, so let me quickly run these command. Alright, so now renaming the software distribution commands are being completed. Now we also need to look for some kind of infection and for that we will be running this DISM and SFC scan command. So copy the first command for the DISM. Then again make a right click and paste it. Hit enter. Uh, this command may take some time so you just have to keep some patience because this will be restoring the health of the disk cleanup. So just make sure that you let it complete it for 100% and once it will be done we will run a final command. So once it's been 100% completed, you have to run the final command that you can copy from the description that is SFC space forward slash scan now. Come back to the black window, right click and hit enter. Now just keep in mind this DISM tool command may take some time because it will be restoring all the settings. So make sure that you have some patience and let it run in the background. Alright, so SFC scan is also running in the background. What we can do now, we can minimize it. And then we also need to make sure that the Windows update service is running properly. So click on Windows search, type services, then click on services app. And here you have to look for Windows update. So click anywhere, then press the W key from your keyboard so that you can come to the W section. And then you have to look for Windows update. Once you get it, double click on it. And just make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the service status is running. And if it's been stopped, then you have to click on start. And if it's already running, then you have to click on stop. And then click start again. Then click on OK and apply. And then finally, you also need to change some telemetry level settings from group policy editor. So click on your Windows search again, type GP edit and then click on edit group policy now in case if you do not find gp edit in the search then i have already created a video that how you can enable this option you can watch that video to enable the group policy editor on your windows pc and laptop all right so once it comes up click edit group policy and then here you have to click on administrative templates from the left in menu option under computer configuration Then you have to click on Windows Components, double click on it. Then you have to look for Data Collection and Preview Build. Here it is, Data Collection and Preview Builds. You click on it. Now once you click here on the right hand side, you will find Allow Telemetry. So you just have to look for it. I don't find it because probably I'm using a virtual machine. I don't see it over here. But once you find it, you have to double click on it. And then you will be getting another box. You have to click on enabled. And then below from the drop down, you have to choose the enhanced protection. All right. So click on this, then click apply and then click on OK. And now you can close it. All right. Now, after applying all these solutions, finally restart your PC or laptop and check back again. I'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed. Now, in case still, if you have the issues, the next what you will have to do you need to click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit enter and then from the left menu option click on view install updates 
and this will display the latest update that has been updated on your windows pc and laptop now you need to uninstall the latest update and then you have to restart and this will be reinstalling the windows update so hopefully guys this method or the previous solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye